Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're gonna talk about the Barnum Effect. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about the Barnum Effect. Ah, uh, Phineas Barnum, notorious showman, businessman, circus and sideshow owner, He's mostly remembered for being kind of a shyster. He's known to have fraudulently promoted hoaxes and was even accused of creating a couple. He possibly abused and definitely manipulated many, many people. And so it's no wonder that the psychological effect that carries his name is all about leading people to believe things that aren't necessarily true. The Barnum Effect, which is also sometimes called the Forer Effect, is when individuals believe that descriptions apply particularly to them, even though that description is actually information that could apply to anyone. An easy way to think about it is when people take non-scientifically valid personality tests and think that the really vague descriptions given at the end are very true about themselves. For instance, say I take a BuzzFeed quiz called, What is your inner potato? and answer questions about my favorite kind of dog or what superpower I'd want. And then the quiz spits out all this really nice information about how I'm super great. Really, that descriptor at the end about how I'm so great is pretty vague and could be applied to just about anyone. It doesn't really say much about me specifically. That's the Barnum Effect a vague, usually flattering description that could really apply to just about anyone. So, why the two different names? The Barnum Effect is also called the Forer Effect because it was first demonstrated by psychologist Bertram Forer, who showed that people were quick to agree with vague descriptions of themselves and that people rarely realized how vague the descriptions really were. Forer called it Fallacy of Personal Validation, and in his article, The Fallacy of Personal Validation, Four outlines a classroom demonstration of the concept. First, he gave a personality test to his psychology students. After giving them the results, he asked them if the results were accurate. Overwhelmingly, the students claimed that the personality tests were incredibly accurate. The thing was, all the students received the exact same results. Four had phrased everything in such a way that they were really vague. He used phrases for the results like, you have a great need for other people to like and admire you. And the phrase, you have found it unwise to be too frank in revealing yourself to others. And then my personal favorite, you have a tendency to be critical of yourself. Everyone can see parts of themselves and phrases that are so basic in general. All the students felt like Four's personality test was really accurate, but there was nothing in the results that couldn't be said about anyone. Four's classroom demonstration is really still how the most unscientific personality tests are designed. A test maker might write five or six vague results sections and then match everyone to those ambiguous results. Since all the result sections are purposefully vague, people can see themselves in any of them. This is actually how a lot of people claim that astrology signs work. Each sign in the zodiac has some nebulous traits associated with it, and people born at almost any time of year could probably find in themselves. Astrology signs are kind of the original inner potato quiz. Knowing that they've probably been duped by these types of vague results leaves people feeling vulnerable and really gullible. After all, P.T. Barnum is said to be the one who first used the phrase, there's a sucker born every minute. For himself presumed that there was a link between the Barnum effect and gullibility. And it's easy to see why he did. When you get results on a test that tell you that you're special or unique in some way, or what an incredibly special potato that I am, then you find out that everyone is getting results that are similarly flattering and vague. 
it's easy to shift the blame and assume that you've been duped. However, several of the papers we've linked to down below demonstrate that people can tell the difference between true feedback about their personality and vague generalizations. They also show that there isn't really a relationship between the Barnum effect and gullibility. People can vary widely in how gullible they are, but the Barnum effect really impacts everyone fairly equally. I should be careful to point out, not all personality tests are bad or unscientific. There are quite a few that hold a lot of scientific merit and give much more exact, specific information about your personality, such as the Big Five, the Myers-Briggs, or the MMPI. We've got videos on some of those, which we'll make sure to link to below. If anything, the Barnum effect really negatively impacts the scientific personality assessments because people believe all personality tests will only give them these kinds of vague, unhelpful results. Personality tests administered appropriately by clinicians and counselors can give very specific personality information, which can be infinitely valuable in things like career selection and mental health. The detailed, specific information you can get from a scientifically tested personality test is extremely different than taking a quiz online that gives you vague, basic information. Unfortunately, people in the community outside of psychology are often unaware of that and lump all personality tests together. That means it's up to all of us psychologists and all of you, my big beautiful brains, to stop the misinformation of the Barnum Effect once and for all. If you want to know more about some of those personality tests that are scientific, make sure you follow the links. And if you want to know more about other psychological effects, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos and you can learn all about the science of psychology. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see you all later. Bye! If anybody wondered, my personality test said I was a baked potato. Fluffy, salty, and wearing a suit of armor made out of aluminum foil.